Hi, I'm back. I had so much fun doing plumbing the first time, I decided to do it all over again. So the plumbing setup that I had, and forgive me because there's a storm coming. So the plumbing um, setup that I had been using for the past year um, has served me very well. I've um, set up a small RV, uh, I think it's like three gallon per hour or something, um, um, DC pump to solar panels that I bought from Harbor Freight to a little solar battery that I also bought from Harbor Freight. And that system has been serving me well for well over a year. So the water from my well gets filtered through, and I'll show you in a second, through my filtration system. And then it goes to my RV, which is only about, I don't know, 100 feet away. But now we're starting to, well, we'll soon be starting construction on the house. And I also have a dear friend of mine who's coming to visit, and she will be here for three weeks, so she says, but I'm going to try and keep her here longer. Um, she'll be here for a little while. So I want to make sure that the water, you know, pump that I'm going to be installing is going to be enough for both of our RVs and eventually the house in the future. So I figured why don't I just go ahead and start that project now. So what this entails is me taking off the solar panels from the roof, which I've already done. Don't like climbing on roofs. <laughs> And I'm going to be de disconnecting the entire system and installing a new solar powered water pump, tankless water pump from RPS Solar. The whole setup comes as a kit. You get, here, let me just show you. Okay. So with the kit, you get the tankless um, RPS water pump. So it doesn't have the need for, it has a built-in pressure regulator, just like my little RV pump, where it has a check valve within it. So once the water is turned on at the sink, it calls for the water and that's when the pump will turn on. This pump acts the same way, but it's just bigger and more powerful and hopefully will give me better water pressure. It also comes with, excuse my mess. Let me put that over here. It also comes with the, uh, the inverter that has all of the attachments already on it that connect to the four batteries, which were sold separately. So I have the four batteries in that box, and then it comes with four solar panels, which it doesn't come with the bracket, so I just had to order those on Amazon, so I won't be installing those today, but there's a lot of other things that I can get done while I'm waiting for those brackets to arrive. So I've got the one, two, three, four in this box, four solar panels, four batteries, inverter, and the pump. I bought this case from, or this uh, cabinet from Home Depot, and it's, you know, plastic, but it's gonna be inside the pump house. Let me give you a little overview of the pump house. So this is a, a pump house that's well ventilated, but it's protected from the rain most most part, there are a few leaks in the roof. Um, it's protected from the rain and the wind, um, but it's, it's open because I have my generator in here that I turn on when I need to uh, run the pump water up from the well. So to recap, turn on the generator. We're gonna go outside. The water comes up from the pump which is here. And then it goes up that tube into the storage container. From the storage container, it comes out from the outlet on the bottom and it comes in and that's pulled in by the RPS solar pump that I will be installing successfully and I won't cry and uh, there'll be no leaks. So for today, I took off the solar panels from the roof and I'm going to be putting some wood braces in here to support the solar panels on the roof because this is like 33 inch on center kind of, you know, I don't know who built this. It just, that's the way it was built. So I'm going to reinforce the roof with some two by eight material 
and that'll be a great place for the solar panels to be anchored to. So hopefully storms like this won't take them away. Oh my goodness, it's coming. Ah, let me get started. I don't know if now's a good time for me to explain to you guys that I'm, I don't like heights. <laughs> so I'm gonna move very slowly across this roof. There's only me and there's basically just one beam and uh, these aren't my lighter days. Ow, I should put my, oh, excuse me, my knee pads on. negative to negative, negative to positive, negative to positive. It's all wired up. I've checked it six times from Sunday. Um, I'm gonna plug in solar panel panels now and uh, see what happens. These instructions suck, by the way. They're, it doesn't tell you in which order to do everything, for one. I didn't even do the pump yet. The pump has its own set of controllers. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure the solar panels are going through the controller and gonna charge the battery, so. Let's plug it in. Okay, the lights are on. It says all of them. Okay, we're waiting. It says input. Input. I've got numbers. Solar panels. Input battery, 25.7 volts. Maybe I should have put a voltmeter on this before I plugged it in. Okay, solar panels. Okay, what does any of that mean? Oh, it's charging! It's charging! It says charge! Oh boy, how exciting! 27, 28, oh my goodness, okay. All right, all of the indications are here. So this is just kind of like my old one. The solar panels are pointing to the battery and it's blinking, which means it's charging. Holy shit, I did that part right. Okay, uh, I'm gonna finish gluing that up and I'm gonna eat lunch because it's like two o'clock and I haven't eaten lunch yet. So I'm gonna let that charge for a little bit. How exciting. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I realized I made a tiny mistake, but that's okay. I mean, it, it just, I bought a filter to put on the pipe that goes into this water thing, um, but I don't have the connecting pieces to it, so I can't um, connect it right now which means I can go to the store and I can get more pieces or I can just continue. So I'm just gonna continue um, with this PEX A stuff, which is really cool. I like working with this stuff because it's really easy. And whenever I have a PEX connection, I don't have a leak. Whenever I have a brass connection or a PEX to brass connection or any other kind of connection, I usually have a leak. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an L here and we're gonna come straight, and then we're gonna put another L in the corner, go straight, and then we're gonna do an L down. So we're gonna come out to right about 
here. So you just use regular um, pipe cutters for this. There's gonna be water in here, so I'm expecting that. <laughs> just kidding, I already drained it all out. Um, this piece I'm going to keep. I'm gonna cut it off right here because I bet you I can make it go boom, just like that. So that's gonna come down here. We're gonna cut it all the way to the end. But that brass connection right there is like 14 bucks for these freaking connectors. So I'm gonna keep that for sure for the next project. So all you do is you put on one of these couplers. You can kind of see if you feel it inside, there's a very, very slight lip. And you know that that's the one because it won't go on the other way. Like it won't go on this way. See, it's really simple. You just slide that on. You just slide that on. I know this is the right side. This one was on the ground, so it might not be usable. Ow! <laughs> oh, come on, slide in. just supposed to easily slide in but I might have a jagged edge here from where I cut it so let me cut it again a little bit further it's got to be straight Whew. got some carpal tunnel going on so I am in pain okay so slide on there you go I have like no uh, grip anymore. So little things like this are quite, um, are hurting. Anyway. All right. So then this piece is going to go up here. So I need another coupler on the end of that. There you go. And now all you do is you take this expander thing, you shove it in the hole. Right, and you press the button, it goes up. So as it expands and turns, it expands the test tube. And it makes it pliable. That should be good. And then you just take the new piece and you slip it inside. And then as as the piece uh, contracts, it wraps around that piece and boom, no leaks. You can kind of see, I don't know if that's good or not. I'm slightly pushing it towards the edge of the thing so once it touches the black part, I know it's fully expanded. We'll give it one or two more goes. And then I just take it and slip it on to the piece. And now this one's already connected. I can't pull it apart. There we go. Two more. Everything's hooked up here and everything's hooked up in the lawn. I had to make a few adjustments, but we're good. Now it says I have to prime the pump, which I thought this was self priming. It says priming screw, all right? Um, loosen priming screw. Create positive pressure in supply line to push water into pump inlet or fill line with water. I don't like literally see a fill line anywhere. So maybe it just says fill line with water. I don't know, I'm gonna loosen the screw. Loosen priming screw. Okay, let's do that first. It's pretty loose, okay. Create positive pressure supply line to push water into pump 
inlet. Let me plug this in. Sweet Jesus, I'm so scared. <sighs> okay. There's a video here. I'm gonna go watch the video. Okay, that was helpful. All right. This funnel is too big. So they said to take out the screw. They also said that I need a check valve. Um, I'm gonna make one addition to this and I am gonna add a check valve right here. I'm also gonna add a second filter. So that's why I left these two thing pipes kind of wide so I can cut and add to them. No, it's not, I made a mistake, I'm lying. Uh, anyway, we're going to make a funnel out of a piece of paper, which already sounds weird, but we're gonna do that. Okay, in the hole. Now, I'm gonna hold this with my left right hand then pour with my left. Oh, my knees. It's definitely going down slower. Ah, oh, too old for this shit. Okay, it's coming out. Now I'm gonna put the screw back on real tight. We will have to do this one more time. So, okay. Let's try and turn it on. Nothing happened. It's plugged in. Oh, something's happening. Okay, okay, just be patient. Now what, now what, now what do I do? Oh, it's just gonna start doing the thing. It's, it's okay. Water's coming in. I see it happening. I see it in the filter. Okay. Okay. Water came through the holes. Let's go see what's happening out there. Oh, I don't see any water coming out. It's still humming along. Are you girls excited for me? Oh boy, what a mess. I need to clean this up. Okay, okay, there's definitely water coming here because I have an effing leak. Just need to make sure there's no leaks over here. Then I gotta fix that, that leak know how to fix it it keeps leaking <sighs> okay well I don't even know if water made it all the way up here but we'll explain that later there's no leak all right let's go see if that machine is still going it's still going it's real quiet though Okay, it's 4.30 and um, I'm gonna end for today because I did a lot and I'm very proud of myself. I did a lot, but I don't wanna keep messing with this thing until I figure out A, how to fix that leak and B, I wanna add the check valve and add the filter and get this thing on the wall. But now that I know it turns on and water came through, um, I just need to fix those couple of things and I think we're gonna have a working system. We're gonna screw this thing down. Yeah, but I'm gonna do all that tomorrow because I need to make a list of the things I need to get from the store and um, to finish this up. So, check you later. I'm going to fast forward through the next 24 to 48 hours where after I added the check valve and the filter, I could not get water to go through this pump. 
my energy is completely done. <laughs> I'm, I'm really tired and my brain is racked. So I ended up calling RPS technical support. They called me right back, human being on the phone. It was really, really awesome. Um, and she's the alley suggested that, um, the filter that I had on the tank prior, the one I just went all crazy trying to put on, she said the check valve was good, but the filter might be causing the problem. So went back to Home Depot, got some more parts, took out the filter. This thing looks like Frankenstein. Let me show you. <laughs> There's like eight of those pieces I don't need like literally, but I didn't want to make any more cuts to have any more, like there's like 19 pieces, places where this could possibly leak. So um, hopefully it doesn't, we are gonna turn it on. Just pray for me y'all. Spoiler alert, it doesn't work. You know, I don't even have any words. I'm going to give this one more shot. I made some adjustments. I, let me show you. I took out the check valve and straight PVC from here to the outlet. I added this T and as soon as I opened up that valve, water came spewing out of here. So I know that the water is coming through this pipe. If this works, my problem was the check valve, which I might add, I originally didn't have on here and I put it on because the YouTube video told me to. And I think that sent me into a three day downward spiral of, I don't know, let's just turn the bitch on, okay? I probably should be praying right now. Let's see. <sighs> okay. That's a lot different. That's a lot different. Let's go see if I have water coming out. I have fucking water coming out! That's water. That's water, y'all. That's fucking water. Ah! Let me shut it off. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Just goes to show you, not everything on YouTube is true. <laughs> you guys, that was freaking hard but it's done. I did it. I have running water. I have water pressure. Um, the pump is shutting off when it's supposed to shut off and uh, I couldn't be happier. I think I said that already. Thank you so much to Allie at RPS Solar for being my tech support and um, helping me get this problem solved. You were amazing. I hope I never have to speak to you again. <laughs> Everybody have a great day. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. See you next time.